What's going on guys, Roll here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how I render and edit my videos. Yes, I'm a little sick, so I just want to get this done with. So with that said, let's get started. So first off, you're going to capture some gameplay footage, which I already have. If you don't, you need to capture some gameplay footage, then you're going to want to come back to this step. So first off, let's, uh, let's open up Sony Vegas, you know, nothing too hard and it's blank don't have anything in here so let's uh let's grab a video so let me go open um let me go down to my hard drive it's all saved on let's just do uh battlefield 4 you know let's just grab a random clip you know nothing too exciting nothing too long so as you can see when i restart this you know, uh, you know i have a system that'll handle this game fucking perfectly in Sony Vegas it looks like shit so what I do is I right click on the video go to properties disable resampling and uncheck maintain aspect ratio now when we go back and replay the video um, now we're going to do the um, the event FX so this is where I believe that the the video comes to life you know so there's four that I do I do the color cor corrector Double click on it, I do the color curves, saturation adjust, and sharpen. And you, all you do is click OK. Now you can see another tab pops up and they're all four up top. So what I've already done is kind of, you know, you got to go through this and I'll, I'll do it so you can see the difference. Um, I've already saved the, my, my preset. So all you got to do is just go to each one, click down, and YouTube. And all you do is, so you mess with it, right? however you want it you know you can see it kind of changing up at the top right however you want it um, all you gotta do is once you find the spot click save rename or rename it then click save and then every time you come in here boom so same thing with all four get that done and then uh, that's it and then you just close now you see the difference big fucking difference <laughs> show you how to I guess fade you know this is easy shit so you go to the beginning of your clip you're gonna get this right at the top left corner that blue triangle you get fade and offset so you just click and drag you can do that for your audio as well so let's do that so now it's not just a sudden so now if you wanted to add another video clip let's go to the end of the one that we already have File, open, we'll just do the same same clip. Same thing, you're going to want to right click, properties, disable resampling, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. You're going to have to do this for every single clip that you put in. Now if you notice, when we go from <laughs> use your scroll wheel, zoom in a little bit, and you can drag your second clip on top of your first clip. What that does is kind of blend them both together so you get a smoother transition a lot better and that's it and then you'll repeat the same thing for your event FX same thing on all four because it looked kind of weird if you did um, four on this one and then on your second you did a different four you know it looks kind of weird so I try to keep it all the same for the same video even though my settings for different games don't always look the best and I have to manually kind of, kind of uh, adjust them like uh, Metro Last Light's a dark game and if I did the same settings as I did on here it'll be a little darker and I don't know so you just gotta kind of mess with it find your spot that you like save it and go on from there now rendering all you gotta do is what I do is restart the clip don't play it go to file render as uh, a box should pop up so I don't know why it's not showing my favorites but you're gonna get a list of all these different formats so the one you want to look for is main concept uh, concept AVC slash AAC I'm gonna check that and now you're gonna look for internet HD 1080p favorite it that way you don't have to do this every time so do that go to show favorites now it's gonna be right there now you're gonna want to customize template so now you can change it to whatever name you want so I'm gonna name it YouTube you know just something simple so 
it's there right save boom now you're gonna to want to go down none of this matters just make sure frame size is HD 1080 1920 by 1080 um, everything else in here is nothing nothing big so now this render using CP only this is the other thing that that you really do on on rendering so you go to system you want to check GPU CUDA is available you know not all video cards are going to be able to do it so I'm going to change render using CUDA if av available Go to project uh, tab down at the bottom. Uh, I I just keep it use project uh, settings because it's already filmed in 1080p and 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to use those same settings. Color space uh, just default. Just use project settings. Audio doesn't matter. Video. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean you can do. Uh, no, that's that is it. And that's it. I mean then you click OK. Boom, done. There's your template. Now you can get rid of this or save this one or favorite this one, remove this one, and there's your template from here on till whenever. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.